Hey, good evening, everyone. <clears throat> hello, hello, hello. Um, if you can hear me, can you just thumbs up or something just so I know you can hear? Please. Um, let me try and unmute everyone. I'm not sure anyone's muted. So. So everyone is on. Good evening, everyone. <clears throat> can you just let me know if you can hear me? Can you just let me know if you can hear me? Good evening. Okay. So I'm just trying to be sure everyone can hear me. Yeah, we can. Okay. Well, so, name is I am from overseas nurses. I'm waiting for the tutor to come on. Uh, he'll be taking the class today. I'm just I'm just trying to help facilitate things, technical side and all of that. So I think he. I'll just wait for him to come in and then. He will be taking over the class. I think a good thing might be to just bear with me, please. Um, if you if you have disturbance in the background, you can mute your microphone so that it doesn't disturb the class. Um, I think it might be a good thing to just say our names or something. I don't know. Um, it's not me leading the class. I'm just helping with the technical side. Um, I'm waiting for the the tutor to log in. Right. Um, press this. Uh, let's use the name. So we, we currently have 18 people on. Um, can I just ask, did all of you find out from Twitter? Hello? Yes, um, good evening. Good evening. Did anyone okay. here find out from Twitter or did everyone find out from Twitter? I found out from Twitter. Okay. So how about we do it this way? So while we're waiting for the tutor to log in, okay. he's having probably network problems or something. How about we start with introducing ourselves? Probably we'll just say our name and our location, if that's okay. I can start. My name is Tunde Bella. My location is London. Okay. Good evening. My location is Nigeria. My name is Okay. Just, just give me a second. Let's try and do speak of you. Okay. So at least we see. Who's if you use it. Hello. Hello. We're just waiting for the tutor to log in. He probably is having technical problems. Um, I'm just thinking while we're waiting for him to do that, we might as well just see our names and our location. So. All right, Mr. Tun Mr. Tundebello. Bella. Uh, to the Bella. Good evening. My name is Michael Osho. I'm from Abuja, Nigeria. Okay. Can you turn on your camera? Yeah, and thank you for putting this together. Hello? Hello? Okay. Hello, From Ikorodu, Lagos. Okay. I think it would be a good thing if, say, for example, you want to talk, it's only fair for you to turn on your camera. If you're not going to talk at all during the session, it's fine. You don't have to turn on your camera, but it's a good thing for people to see your face because you can see their face. It's an educational uh, forum we want to learn together. Um, I think if you're asking questions or introducing yourself, you can just turn on your camera and then turn it off if you want. Um, it, it, it's totally up to you. I'm just thinking, at least get to know people. We have 25 people currently on. Um, I'll just ask what's going on with the tutor. 
Um, Steve, okay, that's the tutor. Mr. Steve. Good afternoon. Um, good evening, sorry. Okay, good evening, welcome. Let me make you... Um, yeah, it's been a bit... It's uh, been a bit um, of a busy stuff. Sorry, just coming in. Steve, is this you? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Let's make you co-host it. Okay, so you're on your, your co-host now, Steve. Oh, I think it was wrong because you made the co host. Yeah, I've, I've corrected it now. You're your co host now. Okay, okay. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm so pleased to be here. Um, thank you, uh, thanks, Mr. Abella, for this. Um, great opportunity. I don't know whether we can start now. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. Of course. Oh, Steve, I think you can start now. Hello, Steve. You can start yeah. now. All right. Thank you very much. Um, good evening to everyone. Good evening, sir. Uh, um, if you can listen carefully, just show, show me a sign so that if I have to increase my voice, um, I will do that. Uh, it's uh, in an intensive class that is coming up for the next 20, uh, 20 days, roughly a month. We are expected um, to don um, if we are in um, a lot and um, you know, send it. So apologies, uh, okay, so I, I was saying that we, 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 are, we are expected to treat this class as though it's uh, um, the, best, um, the best of the privileges that it entails for everyone. I expect that we um, have done, because I get some instructions in, in the morning, and I expect that we have actually carried that out. I told us to get a booklet, uh, a AT list book, and um, write down um, the date of our exams. And if you have done that, please just give me a signal you have done that. Um, write down the date of the exams and um, the, uh, the score, this, the bar score we are looking forward to. And then um, possibly. We should also write out the parameters because we are going to be using the parameters to judge ourselves, uh, ourselves after this particular class. We, are, we need to actually look at on the level we were when we started. The parameters for me is like uh, the first. It's like the first thing we need to know about our different levels. Make up uh, the, um, for a, pro, a level of pro, a kind of proficiency and, uh, and watch. For instance, now if my parameter is four at the beginning, maybe maybe from the scale I gave myself, I'm four. 
by the end of this um, class, um, I should have reached maybe six or seven, which actually gives me a standpoint for which I can face the IS, uh, ILTS exam. That's number one reason why I said we need to um, take our time to write out those parameters and I have written them out. We should also try to ensure that um, we, uh, we uh, you know, write out the proficiencies that we need to carry, the skills we need to carry out to improve on our parameter so that we don't just stay on one spot. A lot of people just get a um, nice material, start practicing, 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 and they are not able to know whether they're improving or not because they don't even know their weak points or their strengths from the beginning. So that, those parameters are going to help you to be able to know, all right, this is my weak point, this is my strength, this is my weak point, this is my strength, and then to be able to know whether um, we are actually good to go. And that actually gives us a very high level, a top-notch um, um, access to really prove that we're actually getting better or not. And this is a very um, high intensity class, it's a high pace class, and it's going to require commitment in every ramification. So, uh, and then um, every single day, you're going to be having tests. And the proof that you, are, um, that, that you are committed to this class is that, so is that we are actually doing the tests. The tests are going to serve like an assignment. They are going to serve like assignments and are going to really help to prove whether we are actually uh, uh, whether we are actually getting better or not. So my strong um, encouragement right now is please put your mind, put your emotions, put your all into this. Let's see how best we can get better after all, because it's going to really um, go a long way to help us, even if you are not going to try the exam immediately, and subsequent exposures are going to be happening. This will be a very good foundation. But I can assure you, if you are if you are able to show a level of commitment, if you are able to show a level of consistency, and you are able to like come through with all the tests that we give on, you will have a very good score in your IX exam. If you have to write, if you have to write immediately after this test, I can assure you of that. So the first thing we are, we are required to do um, right now is to take our, our big notes and then open up the first page. We are going to be dealing with listening. I'm there, I'm there to the parameter. I don't want to go back to them. Now, if you are not listening to the parameters I mentioned early, please kindly go back and listen to them. They are on the Telegram. Take your time to listen and do what I exactly I asked you to do. They are on the Telegram page. I reposted them this um, evening. Just take your time, listen to them, and write it out. Then follow up with it. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to be repeating specifically for the listening because I'm going to be listening right now. Listening listening module. We'll be doing the listening module right now. At, at this moment, we'll be doing the listening module. And um, I'm going to be starting up with the parameters as a way to um, start up these lessons. I just want to encourage everyone, there's no, there's no best way we can actually um, integrate with this class except by commitments. Just follow my instructions, do whatever I ask you to do. Do not bother what you have learned before. Um, rather try to like uh, uh, try to align with what you have learned. If it's not giving the kind of clarity, let me know. And I promise to um, give you the necessary information you need to make sure everything is really clear. I just hope we are together. All right. If you are together, just give me a sign that you are here. Um, I, I like it the way, I mean, that kind of feedback system. So that it, it doesn't appear I'm the only one communicating. I'm sorry. If you are with me, just give me a sign. Okay. Thank you. I think I saw that in the uh, I see the I see the hands. Okay. So um, we, are, we are moving on to listening um, model. Listening model. Um, in my personal opinion, I think it's one of the simplest models for IELTS. And if you are able to understand the approach that is necessary to do with listening, we are going to define. We are going to be spending two days on listening model. Two days on listening model. And I want to uh, um, encourage you to just um, kindly.
you listen to what I have to say. And note that the instruction I'll be given, the instruction I'll be given to you is not going to just be for today. It's going to be for as long as I'm finishing the IS test. If I give an instruction today, try and follow up on the instructions until the day you are going to be writing the tests. And that actually is going to really be of great help to you. Do not just say, well, I've done what they asked me to do today, and then you just put everything aside. Now, for, um, for the parameters for listening module, let me just start with that. There are three things you need to um, know. Um, three things you need to be good at. Let me use that word. For you to have a band score seven and above in listening, three things you need to be good at for you to have a band score seven and above in listening. And I've mentioned it earlier, but I'll mention it again just because of this particular module. One, you must be able to listen clearly have a clear, a kind of listening accent, accent. What I mean by listening accent is you must be able to hear properly foreign English. You must be able to clearly and properly hear foreign English. You must be able to clearly and properly, accurately hear or listen to foreign English. Now, if what um, is being given to us as as, as eyes and listening test is a normal English we speak in Nigeria, we may not have issues because we are used to the local language, we are used to what, what we have uh, been saying. But by the time you hear some form of English that is sort of, they call it Yorkshire accent, uh, probably American accent or, or the or, or the OC accent or the Irish accent, it's going to um, look a bit strange to us. And that's the reason why you must have gotten yourself used to hearing what is being said. The second, um, parameter or a proficiency skill you must build in listening is you must be able to preempt the next word. Now, if I'm, if, if I'm listening to, to someone, by the tone of the voice, by the way the person is communicating, I should be able to you know, predict that this is the likely thing he's going to say or she's going to say. Now, I may not be correct. But by that, I did not miss it. And if I miss it, I will not be far from said that one should have. And then the third thing is ability to be able to um, mark out keywords of the question before the conversation starts. Key skill. Many people are really slow at this. You know, before, uh, if you have ever um, um, taken a, a, a listening test or probably practiced a listening test, there's a particular thing they used to say before the old test that they say, we give you 30 seconds to look at um, the questions. Now, many people don't know that that 30 seconds actually is not enough. By the time you receive your script, and then you are opening the script and the says start, by the time they are saying whatever they are saying, you should have been reading the, 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 the stops and marking now the keywords. Now, how fast you can do that is a skill. If you can do that up to 40 questions, fine. If 30, if 20. But you must not just stay at the point of just in maybe the first five questions and then you just say, now turn to question one. And by the time they are saying turn to question one, you have not even gone through the uh, five or ten questions that are actually being uh, asked, I mean, that, that you are being asked to pinpoint. That becomes a major um, issue, a major crisis for you. And so it's important that you are actually skillful in marking out keywords. The, the, the first proficiency is to be able to really know, um, this, to be able to detect distractions, distractive tones, distractive language, distractive um, 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 uh, you know, stuff that are bring you from the answer. Now proficiency, and, and why these are very key parameters for you to have a seven as we go on. Now there are about six or seven types of questions that are presented when, uh, I mean, uh, for the listening test. Very often, I present for the listening test. We have the multiple choice question. We have the filling the gap, short answer question, note completion, labeling diagram, classifications, and matching headings. These are the types of listening questions that are actually available, and they are bro they, they are broken into four parts or four sections. These are four parts. Each section of parts have 10 questions each, one to 10, one to 10, I mean, one to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30, 31 to 40. Now, the, the, the intensity of its difficulty increases as the question progresses. The first 10 questions are dealing with monologue. 
a, a, a dialogue between a woman and a man, possibly a man, or, or usually a man, that probably wants to get an hotel accommodation. It's really on social issues, social discussion. And then the next part, it's also a social discussion, but it's usually a monologue. Maybe a description of a, of a hotel, of a hall, of a particular place, a description of a particular place where probably uh, and then they are, you are asked to label that it's usually a diagram actually for the maybe from number 16 to 20 or 17 to 20 you are asked to label a place of even from 11 maybe to 16 you have to label a place they tell you the north south east west the corridor and all that so that is actually the order then from 21 to 30 is an academic discussion between two students and a lecturer and then from 31 to 40, it's a monologue from a professor or a, or a senior university lecturer. All right. So this are uh, and that, that four part is the toughest. It's usually most complicated of the four part because it deals with more constitutional words, synonyms, and sometimes you have to like train your ear to hear properly, uh, hear the accent from I mean, of the last speaker. Now, how do you uh, build these skills? How do you build skills that will be uh, that will be able to tackle these questions. I've said the first thing before I said hearing accents properly, prediction, prediction of words, and then I'm picking of keywords and detecting distractions. How do you build up on this? I'm going to be telling us um, how you deal with the, 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 the last two, that is um, picking up um, keywords and um, 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 distractions. While I talk about the first two by the end of the um, um, lecture. But let me just start with this. The first, the first key issue is um, read instructions um, and very specifically. There are instructions that you will see. That's the first thing you read in any IELTS um, listening module. To, answer, to, to write maybe one word answer. Um, sometimes they will say write not more than two words and or a number. Sometimes you say write only one word. Sometimes you say write only three words and or a number. You must read the instructions and know it and keep it to your mind so that when you are answering, you can know that this is the limit of my action in this particular essay. Number two, read the questions very fast. Read the questions very fast and obey instructions strictly. So while you are in the questions, you outline the keywords. Um, you must have in mind that you want to obey any instructions that is given to you very strictly. Okay. Then the, the third thing is. Okay. 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 Now, the third thing is read quite discuss. Now, they will definitely always give instructions. If you are used to practice, you will have known the things they are going to say. This is uh, this is Cambridge English 0524, so and so and so exam, and so and so you will have and they will give some instructions. You don't have to listen to the instructions because you have listened to them for the last 20 practice you have been having. So you don't have to stay down and say, let me use what they are saying. No, you have enough work to do. Immediately you, you, you get the question, you start reading the questions ahead. And as you as you start reading the questions ahead, you are you are underlying the keywords, you underline the keywords. That's the reason why for some people. It's advisable that you have the art copy of the Cambridge test you want to use for practice so that you'll be able to really underline. Now, for some of us that we didn't use the art copy, I didn't use the art copy in practice, I actually wrote down the keywords. I was writing very fast so that I can actually know the words I will be waiting to listen to. Now, number uh, um, four is as soon as we start the conversation, move back to number one. As soon as we start hearing the conversation, move back, move back to number one, and then do not spend time, extra time, on option, on question, on keywords you did not hear. Now, if you are probably listening to the to, to the maybe decide the conversation, and then you are actually trying to follow the keywords, maybe they're going to mention the keywords, and you wait and you are not hearing this the next question. Don't delay and don't waste time on missed options or missed answers number six is pay attention to to the keywords more importantly than every other statement what am i trying to say pay more attention to the keywords you are trying to listen to rather than 
other statements. So if probably you marked out streets as your keyword, and then as they are speaking on, you just have address. You, all your yes are open, you want to rest at that addresses. But if you just said that right now, well, let me just be listening to what they are saying, and then you're just listening and listening, and the mentions which are still listening, you are giving me your answer. So your, 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 your mind must be set at the points that you have marked. Once you hear it, all your um, senses, concentration is focused to be able to hear the answer. And then never allow distractions. And what that means is, when you are trying to listen to the words, they will let they will say some words that look like the answer. Some words will look like the answer, but they are not the answer. They are only looking like the answer. Your 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 role is not to um, struggle with those words. Just wait and be be, be careful enough to um, get the full thing they are saying, so that you can know whether it is the answer or not. Now, sometimes the answer is hidden. Let me give an example. They said, which of the months uh, is, is the conference taking place? And then the, uh, the, the, uh, the person actually said, it is June. Oh, sorry. I mean to say two months after. Now, they have mentioned June. If you are not careful enough to wait a little bit and, okay, what is happening? What are they saying? You will end up writing June and forget that they said two months after, which is actually August. So while you are listening, always look at the pitch. Of the of the speaker to know whether they are final finalize the answer or they are still going to say something ahead of it. Then pay equal attention to distractions so that you don't have to miss the answer. I just said that right now. Then number two, make this predictions of the next answers. Make predictions of the next answers. Now somebody is asking about keywords. I'm going to explain about that shortly. Make predictions. Try to predict the next answer. What, 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 what do I mean by predict? Now, you are, you, you are, you are listening to a word and they are talking about um, a, a, a scenario of uh, probably a man that is going to an hotel and is going to sleep. You, you should naturally know what are the things that will naturally take place. Just have the mind, picture of what happens in the hotel and begin to look forward to like a possibility of what they are going to see in addition to use around hotel. If you don't have any thoughts coming to your mind, don't bug yourself, but try to just Pick your, let, let, let that image be in your mind. Now, one thing that can really uh, disturb people in, in this kind of stuff is uh, um, what I call you are focused on the on the uh, on the audio happening in the kitchen, and then before you know what's happening, you are like you, are, you have lost track of the of, of the question and all that of the what what they are saying. That will happen if you are not able to image what the uh, what the examine uh, what the um, conversation is actually um, saying. You must take yourself from your where you are to the place where the conversation is taking place and act like a third uh, a, a third listener, as if you are physically present in the conversation then another thing is remove attention from answer answer that I got in don't celebrate when you get any answer sometimes people will get one and say wow i got this one they now sit down on it no move to the as a matter of fact a principle about listening is that you must be able to go at least a step ahead of your of your of, of the um of the speaker a step ahead so probably for example now why they are trying to um, um, tell you um, all the stories they are telling you about um, IS listening test? You are already reading the, the questions. You are, you are picking the keywords. Why they said come to question one? You are reading question one, waiting for them to hear the keywords. As soon as they hear the keywords and you answer, you don't skip the air what they are saying. You just move to question two. You are waiting for them to say the keywords. You are waiting for them to say the keywords. As soon as they hear the keywords, you move to question three. You are waiting for them to say the keywords. So you are. You are you you are a step ahead. You are not waiting. You are not moving at the same pace with the, with the conversation. You are rather moving ahead, so that every single time you know what exactly you are, you are waiting to hear. Not that not that you are just waiting to hear everything. You are you are waiting to hear something that is specific, something you have underlined. All right. I, I, will, I, will, I will speak shortly about how to identify keywords. Now, um, I said pay more attention intentionally and ensure. The concentration that that has to be whereby trying to image what the um, conversation looks like and bring yourself in like a third listener. Then um, one key issue again is um, 
use capital letters all through if you are not sure of the format of writing. This is a way to um, save yourself from unnecessary as well. In the, in the event that probably you need to write a first, a, a first letter as capital letter and the other one as small letter, and then you actually you don't, you are not sure whether it was going to be all, everything to be small letter, you will need to just write all your answers as capital letter. Don't bug yourself about whether and make it from 1 to 40 if you are not sure of the format of answer. Now, let me really talk about the keywords. How do you um, write, how do you identify your keywords? The keywords are the nouns and the verbs in the sentence. They are the nouns and the verbs in the sentence. And usually they have adjectives to qualify them. But always note the nouns and the verbs in the sentence. You will always find um, a, a, a form of noun and a form of verb in the sentence that is going to like uh, make you to have a kind of um, picture of what is of, of what is likely to be said or what is going to be said. Do not allow yourself to be bogged by the pressure by the way the exam the uh, conversation is going or the way they are speaking. You just calm yourself down and pay attention to um, uh, pay pay more pay direct focus to the conversation. Be in the conversation. Now I'm trying to um, pick a kind of um, listening sample here, um, and I want to try and lead out the, the questions to us. Then you, you all just need to help me do that. Just pick the keywords. What you, whatever you think um, could be the keyword, just pick it up. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is a bit more complex. This is a map. Let me get something that is a bit simpler. Um, okay. Now, this is the question. He said, what two factors can make social contact in a foreign country difficult? Now, in this kind of question, it's like um, a, a fill in the gap question. The, focus, the key was here is social contact, follows social contact, foreign countries, difficult. And so it makes it so easy for you. Just pay attention on the, the, the um, um, and once you are mentioning, answer the factors that cause that. You just all the, 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 the causes of social contact, you are ready. Oh. And then one is types of community groups. So you can give examples of you, you can have the community groups example type um, community group uh, community activity and um, community group examples types. Your mind is up. You are looking forward. What, what I mean, and then you are waiting to hear whatever types that they're going to say. And then the other one is in which two places can information and community activity before already. You know your keyword is going to be community activities information two places. So you are you are, you are you are you are eagerly looking forward to anything that the examiner is going to say or the company is going to be saying that we have a strong clue of the answer. You are eagerly looking forward to that, and that actually helps you to connect the answer. And remember, I said always be ahead of your of the uh, um, of the speaker. Don't ever pursue them from behind. Don't be running after them from behind. Rather, go ahead of them. Go ahead of them. Be at the next question. Always be waiting at the next question. Be waiting at the next question. Wait at the next question. And that gives you a major edge and allows you to have access to more answers rather than um, when you are actually coming from behind. So I have spoken exclusively about how to deal with the questions properly. The key issue of all what I've said is never go at the same pace of the conversation. You will never be able to meet up. And that is a major reason why a lot of persons have um, to, um, I mean, repeat the exams. They, 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 they pursue the, ex the, um, the, um, the, uh, 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 the conversation. And you cannot pursue the conversation and win. It's not possible. You cannot pursue the conversation and, and, and get ahead of the conversation because they will speak very fast. You can only go from, from, um, and from, in, from, from, from in front. They should pursue you. And that is going to be by 
knowing the exact words you are expecting yourself to hear, and then know the um, know how to pay attention when those words are said. Those words are said. That gives you a major edge ahead and far beyond the um, examiner. I mean, the conversation that is being said. Um, now, quickly, let me just move to. The things you can do to build your skills. I've never mentioned the first things you can do to build your skills for listening, uh, for hearing accents, and then being able to preempt your speaker. The first thing is you must stop watching any form of English that is not foreign. And when I say foreign, I don't mean Mexican English, I don't mean China English, I don't mean Indian English. I mean uh, English, that's English from England. I mean, uh, English from Europe, I mean, English from um, English from England, English from Europe, English from uh, um, Australia um, and America or, or documentaries from those areas should be your addiction. If you have access to DSTV, you just focus on TNT, but Fox, um, uh, Movies 3, uh, o o o On Max, um, Discovery Family, Discovery ID, um, and um, I think those five then, all forms of um, news outlets, um, CNN, BBC, Al Jazeera, France 24, and stops that speak only foreign English. You must say bye bye to Z World. You must say bye bye to African Magic. Bye bye to all manner of anything within Nigeria. You must just say bye bye to anything that's to do with Nigerian English. If you are going to train your accents, if you are going to train your accents, you need to run away from anything that will bring you around your Rubai or anything. You just have to run away from them, at least for the time you are going to be prepared for. So from today. You just have to buy yourself from anything Nigerian, English, Indian, Mexican, or China English. Confucius will stop. You just have to focus on movies that have only English content and foreign English adapt. And then uh, another way you can build yourself is TED.com, TED.com, TED.com. Just Google it, TED.com. Go on that platform. There are over a thousand monologue from English um, speakers that will help you in your in your um, um, section four in your in your part four very well. Then try to write out summaries while you are listening to stuffs. Try to try to write out the summary. Write it out. Write, I mean, give a jot of what you are listening to. Don't just say yeah, I'm listening to everything. I'm, I'm listening. try and jot out um, a, a, um, um, summaries of what is being said so that you can actually have access, pure access to um, the, 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 the speaker, I mean, to, to, to the stuff that is being said, so that you can actually have um, access to what you are hearing, and so that you can actually improve in your, in your, I mean, on your hearing skills. Um, I, I just think that if you try all of these things, you should get better with your, list, with your listening accent, and you should also be able to preempt one thing that is going to really help your social English is movies. What will help your academic English is news and documentaries. So you must pay attention to the two aspects because they are go it is going to really help you a lot in dealing with um, these stuff. So I, I just wish that we can get this done. And as we get this done, um, I will find ourselves um, better suited to do well in IELTS English specifically. Um, English, um, the listening aspect is for me the uh, most, the, the, um, the most, um, uh, I'll call it the simplest aspect for me. I, I don't know, <laughs> um, for some it's actually tough, but it's for me the simplest. You can actually have a nine in uh, listening if you, are, if you are consistent in your exposure to it, if you are consistent in, your, in, your, um, in the skills building techniques. If you like. So I will allow for questions now, and tomorrow we are going to be um, doing. Um, we are going to be attempting to have some. Uh, we, we have a kind of um, live section if if we can, or probably I will give assignments, and then I'm going to be asking us what are the difficulties we faced in dealing with assignments. What I've observed from many of my students has been that multiple choice is the toughest. 
many people have said multiple choice is the toughest. Um, I mean, and, and they said um, it's sort of, um, uh, you know, difficult and all that. But in my opinion, I think, I think it's just about underlining keywords. Even for the, the, the multiple choice itself, both the multiple choice and the question, underline the keywords for everything. And then as you underline the keywords, that gives you a very good access to be able to know whether they're going to be mentioning them or not. Because sometimes they will mention the keywords for the multiple choice mm -hmm. itself. And once you're able to pick um, the, the, the keywords, even the multiple choice, uh, multiple choice questions, that gives you a very stronger um, possibility of getting your answers. So let us learn the act of going ahead of the conversation. That is the most important skill. Don't just stay, stay with the speaker, mm -hmm. let us know, what, and then just keep going, keep going with the speaker. I'm telling you, they will, they will throw you behind. You must be very fast, you must be prompt, and you must actually like um, find the way of um, ensuring that you are, you are, you are way ahead of the, of the conversation. And then let the question meet you are waiting and pick your answer to the next. That, this skill will be very important for 40, 31 to 40. It's more important for that. And that's the reason why you must have even aligned the keywords for that particular aspect, that part, about twice or thrice. So while you are there saying, please check your answers. Don't check any answer. It's, it's a lie. It's a, it's, a, it's a ploy of distraction. Go to the next question. Keep aligned the keywords. No, there's, there's no point checking answers. You still have 10 minutes after to write your answers. That time you can check and check answers. That is a lot of time. So let us not waste time checking answers, saying, oh, I missed number four. Oh, I missed number three. You don't have time for that. For every time you mourn on missed answers, you can miss another three answers. So you don't have to waste time on that. Just pay attention to the answers that, are, that you have, um, I mean, the answers are aired, and get yourself, um, 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 I mean, more, more um, suited to actually get almost everything than just getting just few and then getting better. So I'd I like to have our questions or our thoughts about what we have um, discussed so far. And um, I, I don't know, I think we should just allow for some questions to come in so that we can actually um, assess what has been done tonight. Um, in my own opinion, I think we should allow that. So, if you have maybe questions or clarifications, I'll just suggest that if anyone has a question, then we can call them. Thoughts, thoughts, um. I'll just unmute it. Hello, uh, good evening, Mr. Steve. Hello, good evening. Yeah, uh, please, my uh, question is Yeah, good evening. Yeah, uh, Mr. Steve, you can you hear me? Take questions. Does anyone have questions? Yeah, I do. I have a question. Please go ahead. The quotes can okay, my question is this. Um, is it possible yeah. to oh, call... Okay. Uh, is it possible to score nine in the modules? Is it possible to score nine in each oh. of the modules? Then the next question is, how can how long would it take one to prepare fully before writing the IS exams? And can can you give a a, a time duration, you know, for a proper uh, uh, plan. I want to get fully ready for this exam. Sorry, do you get my questions? Do you get my questions? 
I believe your question is for the, the tutor, or is it or is your question? Yeah, excellent. It's for the tutor. Okay, great. I think there's a bit of time lag. I probably should get. There. I'm there. I can hear you. Just ask the question. I'm waiting for you to answer. Yeah, my question is this uh, Is it possible to score nine in each of the modules? In each of the bank score nine? Then the second question is. How long can it take one to prepare for this IS exam? It's two months sufficient when you put in like, a, let's say, two hours every day. It's two months sufficient to prepare for this exam. Or can you give a professional advice on how best one can prepare and the fastest time duration it will take to write this exam? Hello, I think I got cut off. So I think I got my question. The gentleman is asking a question. And he wants. Oh, sir. I think I'll just answer the question. So I think he. Can you possibly put your question in the chat? Not really. Yeah. I think the question is, is, is a, a logical one. The time frame it takes you to prepare is dependent on you, how fast a learner you are and how much time you can devote to the, to the classes or to, to your learning. Some people do a one week uh, crash course, like one week intensive course and they're ready for the exam. Uh, <clears throat> saying that is it possible to get nine in all the all the uh, sections? It is possible. Um, however, it is rare because uh, the exam is set such that the time frame is short uh, for you to answer all the questions. So you most likely might not get nine in all the sections. Um, you ask for my advice on how best to prepare. If you can afford a private tutor, get one. Uh, if you cannot afford a private tutor, just just give more time, as much time as you can. Uh, one of the reasons I think our people fail is because we underestimate how how technical IELTS can be. We just think, oh, we've done English, we know English. No, you need to know how to approach the questions. You need to know the techniques of how to answer the questions. That is the best way to pass. I've seen people who have written it a couple of times then they become humble and then learn, then pass. You see, uh, IET is something that humbles people. So I have a, I have a, a group where I, I support candidates. I have one of the people who, you know, when you're answering questions, he answers questions, you know, very well. So I'm thinking, okay, this person is very good. And then he did the exam and the results were, were far from what we expected. So uh, I think preparing um, and having the right support um, currently, uh, may maybe when we end the session, I'll, 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 I'll give a bit more information on, on how you can get private tutoring uh, for free. Um, if anyone else has a question, I think the, the tutor might want to take some. So what I've done is I've uh, I don't muted know. everyone. I don't know. Can you hear me, please? Or mute yourself if you want to talk. So if you want to talk, yeah, okay. please. All right. Thank you very much for all your help so far. It is a very wonderful thing you guys have done. I, I want to ask, like, you know, when the uh, the, two, uh, the presenter was like um, giving us the, he mentioned some, he was trying to give an example. I love that if he has a screen that he can share. I don't know if you can hear me, please. Stephen, can you can you hear what the gentleman is saying? Okay. Ah, it's checking. 
I don't know if you can... If Probably can you could just put the question in the chat room. I think um, I'll be able to answer directly from there. All right, all right. In the course of your conversation, or your course, the course of giving uh, the, the lecture, you, you are, we are about giving an example of uh, uh, something that we should look up to. Yeah, it's like it's breaking in between. Oh. Okay, I'll have to use the test then. Yeah, yeah. You, um, if you have questions, you can please type it in the message box. Because uh, I think because of the connection, the tutor is struggling. I think he's just coming off and on. So uh, I'll say he will answer most of the, all of the questions. But in case there's anyone I can answer and he's not able to get on, I'll probably just answer the question so that we can save time. I, um, so... I'll probably just tell you a little bit about my myself. I, I, I'm into recruiting nurses from abroad. So if the question is relevant, I'll, I'll just try and answer. So at least we'll save time and, you know, we help ourselves move forward. Hello, good evening. Um, I think the teacher is off again. So let me answer your question, uh, Yusuf Ajabe. So your question was, um, has he got a screen he can share? Exactly. I, I think it will be easy to share a screen if you're using a laptop. Oh. Uh, and and I, I, I'm not sure how, how he works because all I saw, I saw, I saw this, um, it, so all of this started from, from Twitter. So there was a tweet, and he does training of a candidate. And he said, oh, he, he cannot do it for free for now. So I thought, okay, what if I cover the costs? Will you still be able to do it for free? So he said, yes. So we had an agreement. I'm covering the costs, and he's providing the service uh, for, for, for free. So the Don't thing is, sharing the, uh, we're sharing the, the screen. Um, he has materials that are personal to him, and that's what he uses to uh, provide his classes. So I am not sure how it will work for him to share the materials because he gets paid to train people. So him giving us free training, I'm not sure he'll want to give out all the tricks of his trade. If it was a paid thing, say all of you are paying him individually, then he might be able to give you probably if he has a book or if he has all the material he wants. So I think... It might be a good thing for us to just try and get as much information as we can verbal out of him and then take notes. Um, right. So yeah, I'm, not, I'm not sure how that would work because it's just like coming to you and say, maybe you're into maybe agriculture and I say, oh, how do you, what ingredients do you use, you know, for, for maybe producing, you know, or how, where do you get your loan from? You know, people can be, you know, so... Um, I'm not, I'm not saying he can't share it, but this is just me talking from a, a business uh, point of view. I, I, I get the point. I get the point. Very well said. Mm. Very well said. Thank you very much. Um, it's nearly 10 o'clock. Um, it's an hour. The plan is for, for this to be an hour. I want to say thank you to all of you for, for, for logging in. Uh, I want to say a very big thank you to Stephen. I have an information that I want to say a very big thank you to, to Stephen for, for choosing to help us with his, his knowledge. He, he, I saw his IELTS result. It, it's, wow, yeah, he did really well. Uh, so, so when I saw his result, I now said, mm. sometimes when you hear people talk, you think, mm, yeah, what will you know? But sometimes uh, the results of what you can write is quite different from how you can put yourself across. So, uh, uh, I'm of always advocating that for before you pay or before you get training from someone, see their results. I, I have seen his results. I, I think we we'll, one of these days post it on so that everyone can see that who you're learning from has done it and has passed it and has passed it well. So finally, before you all go, uh, I just want to say, if you're interested in getting a personal tutor for free, uh, maybe. I'm trying to come with it. Maybe just so uh, on Twitter, uh, we have overseas nurses. So our our um, handle 
on Twitter is from the nurses. So if you just DM, you don't have to, we're not chasing followers, so you don't have to follow us. But if you just DM us, uh, and then we can get back to you through there. Because rather than give everyone my 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 WhatsApp number or my phone number, it, it's a lot to deal with. I have quite a lot of commitment. So, <clears throat> and if I know it's coming from overseas nurses, then we know, you know, we're directing, uh, we're answering your messages or your questions there. And sometimes I answer the same question over and over. So maybe we can just create a thread so that anyone who comes can just have a look and say, that's the information, you know, it, it helps that way. So uh, we also have a free training. Uh, we have a class that runs 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, it is at, uh, so what we do is I share a screen. Uh, so it's, it's an online class. You're not talking to me. You're not talking to a tutor. I have bought a few materials that you can just read up and you, you, you listen to the conversation and you, you see the screen. So you can follow that. If you're interested, uh, DM us at Overseas Nurses and we can, we can take it up from there. Uh, I'm not sure if Mr. Steven is back. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just talking while, while we're trying to figure out. Hello, Mr. Steven, are you? Okay, you're back here. Hello? Yeah. Okay. Um... It's gone up again. So, um, yeah, I think it's, I don't know. Um, yeah, but we're, we're introducing ourselves, weren't we? I think it would be a good thing to know everyone, if that's okay. So we can Definitely. start, uh, if you want to tell us, just you can unmute yourself. And when you finish, just mute yourself back, so that at least others can... I think Michael Oshaw wants to talk. You can unmute yourself. Yeah. All right. Uh... Good evening, everyone. My name is Michael Osho. Uh, Ma- uh, Michael Osho. Thank hold, you for, for this. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. Mr. Steven and Mr. Cindy. It's quite interesting. Hello? I want to suggest that if you're talking, please show your camera, and then you can turn it off when you finish if you want to. And it's okay. I know who's talking. We're not scammers. We're not spam. We're Nigerians and we're hardworking people. We're genuine people. So uh, please let us see your face when you talk and then you can turn off your camera, yeah? If that's okay. I think uh, can you, all right. Well, you uh, I'm sorry, probably by two, I'm able to do that. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, a book, a book, no life, I can do that. So, every point I die. So, hello? So, if you want to talk, we need to see your camera. If we cannot see your camera, then just listen to others. I think it's only fair that way. Anyone want to introduce themselves, please? It's not compulsory. I just think networking helps. In this trade, networking helps. There might be jobs somewhere, and someone might be able to get you to there. You might need some some form of help, relocation when you're home. So, if no one is going to introduce himself uh, or has anything to say, I think we can, we can end the call. Hello. Hello? Yeah, I actually, I, I try and follow you on Twitter now. Okay. I'm trying to do a DM to you. I wasn't able to do that. I don't know what's happening. Is that overseas nurses you're following? O- overseas nurses. HR recruitment and all. Yeah. Okay. Let me just have a look. Okay. 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 I also have the same, the same issue as well. Right. I'm on now. Um, I, I also want to think because of the network situation, maybe people can just 
Say that again. Hello. Hello. Because I've been cutting, I've been getting off and on the last almost um, ten minutes. So, uh, Yusuf, you, you yeah. said you tried to follow me. I can't see you here. I follow you already. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to see how to keep the. Is there a way to keep the DM open? What I'll try and do, please help me. I don't want to waste our time here. I'll try and look at how to keep the DM open. I'm not. I'm not really... All right. I'm new. New issue. Okay. How it works. So, um, or maybe just tweet. Just tweet at me. Tweet at me. Sorry. I want to ask you a question. Yeah. Okay, some of us are not on Twitter. How do you go about it? Um, if you're not on Twitter, you'll be on Instagram. Yes. Yeah, you can use any. So we are on Twitter, we're on Instagram, uh, we're on YouTube. Uh, those, those are the, the public accounts. The reason I'm... I'm, I'm Oh, we, we you can even use the Telegram account, the Telegram page. The Telegram, the Telegram. Yeah, you can use the Telegram. You can use any of those. I'm just, so all I'm just trying to say, is, rather than go uh, is on the WhatsApp, my WhatsApp is down, uh, and I don't want to come across as rude. If you send me a message, it might take me a week to answer. I get missing, you know, because there's so much coming in. So if it it's the telegram group uh, uh, at least it's dedicated all right thank you okay. how, how many people are in lagos here how many people are in lagos okay. one person right Oh, two. Are we all nurses? Are we all nurses? Yes. Yes. Mr. Steven. Hello, Mr. Steven. Yeah. Yes. The only reason I'm talking is because you're quiet. The only reason I'm talking. Hello. I said to my remote to start getting but then now everyone probably that we will just raise the finger. I can't hear you. What did you say? No. Don't want to see any of that. I don't want to see any of that. I want to see any of that. Okay, I'll just mute everyone again. Um, yes. I think... Ola Wali Ayeni wants to talk. You raised your hand. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, sir. Camera. Oh. Uh, okay, let me turn it home. It's kind of dark here where I am. It's just so that we know you're real. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, 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 um you know, we, we just. I'm trying to unmute. Um, just hold on a moment. This is my face. 
that's that's a, a big trap. A... Oh yeah, I can see your face now. All right. Okay. Okay. So um, thank you very much, sir, for this. Uh, privilege. Right here, then. Ah. Can you hear me? You. Hello, can you hear me? This, this corona period, I are sneezing. Ah. <laughs> Let me get your smart. It is good, really. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I'm just joking. Okay. So I said thank you so much. Thank you. 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 How does it work? Like in oh, terms of how we how it works? How are you people communicating? Who so if if after passing the, the exams and having all the uh, necessary um, requirements, the, the details needed to to, to requirements. Yes, the, the requirements. How how do we go about it? So um. Um, the purpose of this class is to help people with IELTS. Uh, it will be a good thing if you want us to help you uh, relocate, but it's not compulsory. Uh, however, if you want us to help you relocate, uh, what we do is we, once you pass IELTS, CBT, and you're registered with the NMC, uh, once you get the, uh, the so, usually, so currently you pass IELTS, and you register with the NMC. The NMC gives you the, the go ahead to write CBT and and OSCE. So once you have that letter mm. from uh, from the NMC, it used to be yeah, no, good. But now, okay, it, okay. Okay. But, but now it's it's the the uh, go ahead to write uh, OSCE and CBT. So what we do is we. We get you interviewed with employers who offer you the certificate of uh, sponsorship. And that is what you need when you apply for, for your visa. So they pay for everything, really. Uh, they pay for your application. They pay for your flight down to the UK. They pay for your accommodation for the first month. Um, they pay for your OSCE and OSCE training. And, yeah, that's, that's how we work. Okay. Does anyone else have any question? Yes, please. Yes. So it'd be nice to tell us your name, your location, and then ask your question. So at least we have an idea of you know, where people are from. Okay. Good evening. My name is Adesile. I'm from Abeokuta. Okay. All right. Um, thank you for the opportunity. I saw the post. But I am a nurse. I am a customer service executive working in a bank. Do my wife, um, social worker. She has a MSW. So I would like to know if there is an opportunity for social worker from your organization. So the thing is, um, so. We we directly help nurses to relocate. Okay. Um, any other professional, we can signpost you on how to go about it. Uh, but it's just that uh, we are focused majorly on nursing. And that's because, okay, I'll, I'll tell you why. Um, it is straightforward. Other ones are a bit complicated. So... Uh, rather than try to do everything and, and fail or not, not, not be able to cope, I just thought it's, it's safer for us to just face what we can do. And um, there, there are opportunities for social workers, there are opportunities for biochemists, there are opportunities for doctors, for radiographers, uh, but it's not as straightforward. However, we, I can, I can sign post you on uh, what, what um, uh, professional body you need to register with, uh, what uh employers that you need to look for because you need an employer that has the tier two uh license so the employer has to be able to sponsor 
uh, sponsor the, 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 the person coming from abroad. And uh, it's easier for nurses. Other, other professions, it, it's not as easy. I'm not saying okay. it's not doable. It's still doable, but it's just, yeah. Okay, I get that. And um, second, I had sent it to it concerning the private tutor. Because I was unable to join you, like a question, but thank you. So, what I have just done is to mute everyone. So, if you want to talk, please unmute yourself and mute yourself when you finish me. Sorry, can I ask my question now? Please, please, I think he wanted to say something, the, the other guy. Oh, yeah. Okay. You can ask us if he's gone. You can ask us. I don't know if he's done. No, you go ahead. Go ahead. Tell us your name and your location. Please. All right. I want to ask if at the end of this, if we would get the recording because network was not really that good. So I personally I missed some of them. I don't know. Yeah, we yeah, we can make we will make this available. Yeah. Um we'll make this available. Um I think what we can do is we can put it on we can put it on fit on maybe YouTube where everyone can everyone can access it. You can everyone can go there and access it. Um rather than sending it individually, because if you're sending it individually, the files are large. So it'll be difficult to send it individually and then you download it. Uh, so I think we might just probably just put it on YouTube and then you can just go and play it. And you know, if, if you want to go back to it. Okay, thank you. Okay. okay. Uh, hello, I can't hear you. Yeah, hello, sir. I'd like to give a little assignment tonight so oh, yeah. that um, that could be um, our start point from tomorrow. Great. I will post it on Telegram page. Okay, great. Great. Sorry, I can't hear you. So I'm going to put myself on Twitter, please. No, I think Dennis wants to ask you. Oh, there are some questions. Okay. No, 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 we, we, we heard you. We heard you just fine. Okay. Dennis wants to say something. Yes, please. Can you hear me now? Okay, okay. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you now. Okay. My Hello. name is Dennis. I'm 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 joining from Ghana. Oh, hi. And I want to thank you very much for the opportunity you've given to us to mm -hmm. be part of this. And uh, the only thing I want to know uh, ask or suggest is that if possible we should get the, our tutor a better network so that we can always get the best out of the class because it, it seems like you go to a time and the network was very bad uh -huh. so that's my suggestion yeah very very well thank you i i agree with you as well uh we'll, we'll try and see what we can do and, and work work something out all right thank you very much can i say something please i'm really sorry for not talk today um, I guess from my location, my location does not have this bad network. I don't know whether you can hear me. Um, I happen to work, to do this from work today, and that probably could be responsible for the cracks. Um, uh, hopefully, the next day should not be like this. It will be better than this, definitely. Nice one. And the thing is, you, because it's the first day, we will expect a bit of hitch, you know. And I'm sure it will get better by the day. It will get better. Yeah. 
we can't hear you. I'm, I'm saying that I'm in Ghana and it seems the time is different. So the time I joined, I I missed out a lot of things. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah so I'm confused at the time. It's it's 9 p.m. Nigerian time. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. Okay. That will be eight something in Ghana. Yeah, I think so, yes. Yes. Yeah, okay, all right. Thank you very much. I'll find out and join next time at the appropriate time. Okay. Right. Okay. Thank you. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, my name is Dola Dupabiotu. Um, I'm based in the most states for now. Um, there was a question I posted on um, the group um, chat. So the, the question is yet to be answered, please. Um, I, will now, I just want to know the, the response to the question. I don't know if you see it in the chat. I'm, I'm trying to find it. All right. Um, that was where I asked that, um, is it possible for them that while answering the um, listening question, that is it possible for them to um, start the answer from the back to the front? I think, yes, that was the question I asked. Yeah, I can the, see now. You say, there. please, sir, is it possible that while doing listening, they start from the back to the front? I yes. think. I'll let the, the tutor answer this question. Uh, Mr. Stephen. Yeah, please. Yeah, so the, um, someone is asking a question saying, is it possible that while doing listening, they start from the back to the front? No, 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 no it's not. It's not possible. It's not possible. Okay. <laughs> because it's, oh. it's a conversation. It's a conversation. So you have to flow with the conversation. Okay, and this, this, the conversation will only go once. And after that time, you will not have the opportunity to listen the second time. So you mm -hmm. have to, um, the answers are in the conversation. So you have to listen to pick your answers. So if you, okay, if you now want to start from the back, that means you probably will have missed um, the first sections and then focus mm -hmm. on the last section, which is not going to be the best. So you have to flow with okay, the question so. from the beginning right to the end and that's okay. why I said going ahead of the examiner to preempt what he's going to say and then to know the keywords to listen to will um, go a long way by tomorrow I think we have a, um, uh, a, um, some time to really deal with this better it should be our last class on listening but I'll be giving assignment right. tonight on telegram and then we are okay. going to submit tomorrow morning. tomorrow probably at the before the evening um, section. Okay, sir. All right, sir. Thank you for your response, sir. Welcome. Any other person has a question? Um, I think... Let me just read one here. He says, please, can we get the record after the class? Because it breaks at some points. This was Adela or Kenny's uh, question. Yes, that is possible. We, we will arrange that. Uh, like, I think I answered that question already. We'll probably just put it on YouTube um, so that everyone can just go there and access it rather than having to send it individually because the files are, are large and uh, before we send it to you and then you download it and, you know, um, let me just read, is there any other questions? So, Mr. Tunde, thanks, Mr. Tunde Miller. We'll look forward to the information on how to get private tutor. Please, um, you can you can send the message on the on the. I think we can all who those of us who are interested in the private tutor can either send the message via Twitter to Oversee Nurses or Instagram or just send it on the Telegram group. Um, we'll, we'll follow up from there. Please, uh, is it possible to do listening? What is that? Yeah, that's been answered. Please, can we get record after the class? Yes, that's been answered. Thank you, Mr. Steven. Thank you so much, Mr. Tindy. We were grateful. Uh, thank you for the time. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks a lot, team. Great. Da, 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 da. Okay. Please, can we continue the discussion on the Telegram group? Great. 
so I want to say, uh, Mr. Steven, would you want to just end the, the, the session? Um, I don't know. So that we can carry on with life and maybe move on to Telegram group if people still want to talk. Um, you know, we'll, it'll be a good thing to just probably just stay with the yeah. time. These people yeah, are what They can just take a break, come in, join, and then go. And they know it's one hour, one hour. You know, so do you want to end the class? By just, yeah, I don't know what we, we are in class right now. Then, we, but I'll be, I'll be sending up. I'll be, I'll be speaking up on um, the assignments on, on, on Telegram. The assignments that will be submitted tomorrow will be, will be sent on Telegram, so everyone can have access to it. And then, um, with the audio that is um, requisite uh, for for that, the assignments and the audio will be sent on Telegram right away. So thank you everyone for attending. Thank you so much, Mr. Steven. Uh, no, Mr. Steve. Thank you, everyone. All right. Have a good evening, everyone. Bye-bye. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good evening. Bye. Bye, -bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Um...